search and catch uh, eels. There's other methods we use, which is called whakarapu. Whakarapu tuna is actually feeling for eels by your hands, catching them by your hands. And uh, what happens is you've got a hook. Uh, you have a, a hook in your hand, and there's usually a string attached to it. And once you feel the eel, you just gently slide this under and then bring it up like that. The whole eel wraps around your hand. What? You bring it out and you put it in the bag, which what I've got here. Okay. But uh, in this instance here. I was just wondering. Oh, well, if it bites you, then. <laughs> but anyway, okay. When you said that, that's provided his head is where when you do that. Uh, you want it to be out that way or out? Because well, it's yeah, wrap, it depends. Right? It depends. Yeah, it depends. Uh, so you're feeling for the eel. So you feel, you, you'll know where the tail is, so you go up to near the head, and that's where you gaff it, um, and then it'll wrap um, around you. Um, okay. And uh, the other thing too, uh, <laughs> that's that, so that's whakarapu tuna, uh, ili method by day. What we're doing is rama tuna, ili method by night. Okay? Day is good. The other form of um, catching eels is what we call uh, using a hinaki, it's like an eel wear, an eel trap. Okay? And it basically all it is is a big net, you bait it down one end, you set it in the creek or set it in the river and you always set it uh, with the uh, flow of the current, okay? So the entrance of the, um, the eel weir is this way, okay? The river is flowing that way, you set it that way. You never set it uh, the opposite way around because um, what happens is the bait, the smell of the bait drifts down the river, all the eels smell it and they come up river. Okay, they come up river, and then they go inside, search inside the uh, entrance there, get in there, and they can't get back out. That's why we call it hinaki. Uh, the principle here, when you're eeling by, uh, by torch, you always go up the river, never down the river. The reason why you go up the river, or up a creek, is because...